books. They're illegal now. All creative writing is banned. The party demand it. They believe creativity fuels discontent leading to dissent. The faceless SARS of the party crush all individuality and imagination. They have their spies. They're everywhere. They could be anyone reporting back to the party. Anyone who goes against the party's doctrine. That's why we read in secret from what I can salvage from the incinerators. Clara, my daughter, she reads with me. She doesn't believe what the television tells us. Though sometimes I think it was safer if she did. I won't let them get to her like they did Kate. If you go against them, you disappear like the rest. Clara's coat isn't here. Where is it? I have to be careful. Even a walk can be revealing. All right. Oh, OK. Where's Clara? I haven't seen her since I'd left. She's hiding something. Have you seen what's on the television? 20th anniversary since the party liberated us all. What happened to the Kate I knew? It's absolute madness. What has she done? I can't take this anymore. It's like talking to a brick wall. I've checked everywhere and she knows it's illegal to skip curfew. I'm sure she's fine. I better check the books away from prying eyes. It's the only safe place she can leave things for me. Where is it? Oh, what have you done? Kate must have found these and told the party she was reading. I need to wash some of this soot off. It could be incriminating. How could I have let this happen? She's gone. I know it. They've got her. I don't know what to do. Be calm. Be calm. Don't you call in the... More importantly, he knew... Did she tell them? Sometimes I can feel her eyes burn right through me. 
She seems to know everything. God, I hate this. The porridge and not knowing what to do. Silence. Silence. The bloody silence gets to you. Clara was reading books on Tuesday. Oh shit. She knows. I found her reading books, so I've reported her to the party. You gave her the books, didn't you? So I've informed the party.